Live, the news you count on, NBC2, News at 11. Keep an eye out for anybody with a, a new Yeti cooler. Someone stole seven Yeti coolers from a home in Cape Coral overnight. The costly coolers were packed full of custom creations for a local business. Now they need your help to get the coolers back. Thanks for counting on NBC2. I'm Peter Bush. And I'm Kyla Gaylor. The owners of Shell Cam Florida say this couldn't have been just a random theft. NBC2's Gage Golding is in southwest Cape Coral to explain why the search is now heating up for these coolers. The seven coolers were sitting out on the front porch. And no, it's not what you were thinking. You wouldn't have spotted them right away. They were a long walk from the road and out of sight. Some of them even tucked away in the corner. It just ripped out to like a part of my soul because I put in so much to this, this unique adventure. Julie Adrian's adventure is Shell Camp Florida. It's a new way to search for seashells. She and her crew kicked things up a notch by taking guests on a four-day, three-night camping expedition. I was never a camper, but it was the only way I could get down on that spot where there's all the great shells are. She calls it glamping or glamorous camping, and these aren't your average tents. Table, chairs, lighting, rug. It's really special. The stolen coolers are just part of the massive productions she sets up in the 10,000 Islands. Julie and her crew just returned from a trip on Sunday night. They stowed the coolers outside of her coral reef condo. And when she woke up Monday morning... Then I went out to look out the door and they were gone. It wasn't just the coolers, which are worth about 400 bucks each, but rather what was inside. To save space on the boat, they packed them with incredibly valuable cargo, like these one-of-a-kind paintings or even custom crafts Julie makes. The crooks carried all of it away. I can't even imagine if they opened up the cooler and saw them and threw them in the dumpster. That's what's tearing at my heartstrings right now. Julie's now out thousands of dollars in coolers and crafts. This is my livelihood. She now needs your help trying to figure out who did this. That's why she's offering a $1,000 reward. If you know anything about these items, please, please speak up. Now, they're not hard to spot. Each of the coolers has this big, bright logo on it. And if you see one, she hopes you call Cape Coral Police. Reporting local tonight off Beach Parkway in Southeast Cape Coral, Gage Golding, NBC2.